Hey Guardians, I just want to let everyone know that I do have both a Twitch and a Twitter, and I'm very active on both. Feel free to come give me a follow on both, links in the description. Guys, first off, I'm sorry for no new content in a while. I was taking a bit of a hiatus from Destiny, mainly because Helldivers 2 is just completely consuming my life right now. Like, anytime I see that game, it's talking to me like the green goblin suit. So I apologize if my aim looks uglier than usual, because right now it definitely is. But, Guardians, we have a new PvP sandbox, some new banner guns, some new trials guns, and honestly, the one I'm most excited for, the new Prophecy weapon. Weapons. It's really funny how things can change in this game. What I previously would have said is one of the worst dungeons in the game for PvP weapons is now arguably one of the best. And the best part is these weapons are available to everyone, including my free-to-play players, which is honestly just fantastic. Now, I spent a lot, and I mean a lot, of time last week farming these guns, and I managed to get some good rolls. So today, we're starting with Relentless, or as I'm calling it, the Budget Messenger. If you take a look at this weapon, it's very clearly meant to be a PvP gun. I mean, take a look at these third and fourth columns. It's honestly kind of a crazy perk pool, to be honest. So the focus of this video is definitely going to be PvP. There really isn't much here for PvE outside of maybe like Slice and Hatchling. Now, the perks are great. The main issue with this gun is the base stats just are not that great. 55 range, 49 stability, and a truly awful handling stat of only 24. Compare that to the Messenger, with its base stats being 66 range, 54 stability, and 31 handling, not to mention of course the king of high impact pulse rifles, no time to explain, which has base stats of 60 range, 55 stability, and 42 handling. But Relentless still has a lot of potential. There's a ton to work with here with the perk pool, and it is one of the best options for newer players looking for a good pulse rifle. Now, for barrels, I would primarily be looking for fluted barrel or really any barrel that boosts stability. I mainly just like fluted because it also gives you some handling. For your magazine perk, obviously ricochet rounds for range and stability. After that, I would be looking for a range masterwork. That will take your stats to 70 range, 64 stability, and 39 handling. Now those third and fourth columns, that's where things can really get pretty interesting. Starting in the third column, I would disregard Outlaw and Slideways, but the rest of the options are perfectly viable. The main ones I'd be looking for would be Keep Away or Rapid Hit. Keep Away for a little extra range, reload speed, and of course, the weapon accuracy. And Rapid Hit, which is arguably the best perk you can get on a pulse rifle. Landing crits boosts your weapon stability and reload speed. On a pulse rifle, this perk is invaluable because you can get multiple stacks in a single burst. Those are what I'm mainly looking for, but I wouldn't devalue Slice or Snapshot either. Slice can be used to debuff an opponent so they do slightly less damage to you. The use there is obvious, and with Snapshot, being able to get your gun up and in the fight quickly is always a good thing, as that first shot advantage is very, very important. In the fourth column, I would pretty well disregard everything but Head Seeker and Zen Moment. Yes, Hatchling is good for strand builds, Frenzy is fine if you can take advantage of it, but we're going for consistency here, and Headseeker and Zen are by far the winners here. Headseeker just for the extra forgiveness, landing body shots will briefly increase your crit damage. With the sandbox changes, while TTKs have remained basically the same, weapons are far, far less forgiving, meaning that anything that boosts forgiveness is a very strong option. Zen moment, mainly for the flinch resistance. The recoil reduction is nice, yes, but even with the hand cannon flinch nerf, the flinch in this game is absolutely ridiculous and probably needs to be reduced on primaries across the board. Excluding bows, of course. Now, as far as your combos go, you'll really just have to determine what you value more. But Headseeker is probably my favorite overall option in the fourth column, with Zen Moment being a close second. In the third column, with Keep Away you get that passive plus 10 to your range, which takes you up to 80 range, which stretches your reach out to just under 37 and a half meters. It also gives you a plus 20 to your reload speed, and of course boosts your weapon accuracy, which may not sound helpful helpful, but it is. There's a reason an igneous hammer with keep away feels so damn good. Now, rapid hit on the flip side will boost your weapon stats depending on how many stacks you have. This is a three round burst pulse rifle, so you have the 
potential to get three stacks with each burst. Now, one stack boosts your stability by two and reload speed by five. Two stacks boost your stability by 12 and reload speed by 30. Three stacks boost your stability by 14 and reload speed by 45. So on and so forth. This can stack up to five times. At max stacks, you have plus 25 stability and plus 60 reload speed. Now, realistically, in PvP, you're not going to hit five stacks very often, if ever, but you only need to hit two or three stacks for a noticeable difference, which is easy enough on a pulse rifle. So you get into a gunfight and land two stacks. That takes your stats up to 70 range, 76 stability, and 66 reload speed. And that's going to help you for the rest of the gunfight and possibly increase even further if you land more crits. Now, rapid hit only lasts for two seconds, so your chances of taking those stacks into more than one gunfight at a time are fairly slim, especially with a weapon like this where you're likely playing fairly passively. But, as long as you hit those two stacks each gunfight, this pulse is honestly going to feel great, and I know it does because I do have a rapid hit roll. And unsurprisingly, rapid hit is my favorite option between it and keep away, by far. You can feel the difference it makes in every single gunfight you get into. Now, that being said, in the fourth column, my favorite option is Head Seeker. The forgiveness is noticeable, arguably more noticeable in the new sandbox. And despite how much I despise flinch in this game, I'll take the forgiveness over the flinch resistance of Zen Moment. But once again, Zen Moment is not a bad perk, and if you get a good roll with Zen, you should still try it out because you might honestly prefer it. So, how did Relentless perform? It did well, but definitely not as well as I'd hoped for. To be honest, if you already have a good messenger or even no time, then honestly you don't have to worry about farming for Relentless. High impact pulse rifles are still very strong in the current sandbox. It's just you're less likely to hit the two burst as often, but a three burst is still very, very fast. This weapon hits hard, and it has plenty of range. It does seem to bend bullets fairly well too, landing crits isn't too much of an issue. But genuinely, my favorite part of this weapon is the weapon model and the sights. Something that I cannot stand in Destiny is how many weapons have these absurdly large weapon models that take up like a quarter of your screen. Relentless's model is just small, slim, and unobtrusive. The sights are also very clean, something that I also always appreciate. I cannot stand cluttered sights simply because they just get in the way in gunfights. The simpler a sight picture is, the better. And if you can get a good roll, and this weapon is very, very roll dependent, it will perform well. Now, the main issues I ran into with Relentless is for one thing, it felt very, very slow. That low handling is definitely painful. On top of that, this weapon just is not as controllable as something like Messenger or No Time. It just seems to jump around way more than those weapons. Now, the handling isn't really my biggest issue. I can deal with that. High impact pulse rifles aren't generally weapons you're going to be playing aggressively with anyway, and there are ways to help handling. Speed loader slacks, ophidians, handling mods, so on and so forth, but that recoil is tough to deal with. That is the big reason I'm telling you to prioritize stability here, hence fluted barrel, ricochet rounds, and rapid hit. I have one high stability roll, and it does feel noticeably better. Still not messenger or no time good, but better. If you have a low stability roll, this gun honestly feels awful. Recoil direction didn't feel like too much of an issue either. If it bothers you, slap a counterbalance on it, but definitely prioritize stability here. Recoil direction does help make your recoil more vertical, but stability actually reduces your overall recoil and controllability is key on pulse rifles. So, Prioritize stability over range, potentially even over handling. I still like to have some handling just to make the weapon feel a bit snappier, but if you don't get fluted barrel, even something like polygonal rifling, chambered compensator, or small bore are still going to be very, very helpful. That is also why rapid hit is my primary recommendation in that third column, because it helps your stability by a significant chunk. Now, I found this best paired with my rap build, which I have a video on, and I'll leave a link in the description. This is not a weapon meant for aggressive play. This is a laning weapon, and that is how it should be used. I tried being aggressive with it, and I simply could not make it work. 
Overall, Relentless is a pretty good pulse rifle, and arguably the best for newer players. It can't really keep up with the other options I mentioned, but it's still a very, very good starting point. But that's all for me today, Guardians. This was probably a pretty quick one, but I'm trying to jump on these new guns while they're hot. As a quick side note, I was hoping to put out the hand cannon build video next, but I'm making sure the builds I used in that video are still viable inside of the new sandbox, so that video is going to be delayed a while, probably a week, maybe two. Thankfully, the new weapons have given me plenty of content to work with, so keep an eye out. Next review will likely be the Prosecutor Auto Rifle, which has also been surprisingly good. But for now, do me a favor and hit that like button, leave me a comment with your thoughts on Relentless, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button with the bell icon, it really helps the channel out. Also, over the next while, we're going to be streaming a lot, just testing new weapons, and also probably streaming some Helldivers, so make sure you come by and check that out, link is in the description. But for now, I will see you all in the next video. Peace, Guardians.